This tutorial video is designed specifically for clients utilizing our automated fuel tax reporting services. While most features of the service are common to all users of the system, certain aspects were designed primarily for clients for whom we are processing GPS data, rather than those entering trips manually from driver trip sheets. The fuel tax online section is where trips reside once they have been processed. It is normal for it to take 48 to 72 hours for the data to be transmitted, processed, and posted to this section. Keep in mind that trips, as broken down in this system, are not tied to dispatch data, but instead are broken into 24-hour trips split automatically at midnight. To view trip information, select the appropriate quarter or process month at the left. Any unit for which data has been received will be shown in the list to the left side of the screen. Click on any unit to view trip data. For those of you with many units to choose from, a search field is provided for your convenience. At the top, a summary of the distance, gallons purchased, and MPG for the unit is displayed. Trips are listed below in date order for the time period selected. Click on any trip number or the Settings Edit option to view the details for a trip. Note that you can also use this to move a trip to a different quarter or unit, view or print a trip sheet, delete the trip, or lock the trip so that no modifications can be made. Once a trip is locked, the only option available is to view or print a trip sheet. I have intentionally loaded a couple of trips to indicate potential error flags that you may see. These are not a common occurrence for most of our automation clients, but do happen occasionally. Please note that these flags do not necessarily indicate that something is wrong only that you may want to take a closer look at what happened here. In this instance, the odometer reading at the end of the previous trip does not match the odometer starting the following trip. The culprit here seems to be that trip data is missing for two days between leaving off in Tuscaloosa and this trip starting in Gainesville. Contact your GPS provider to let them know this data has not been transmitted to ProMiles. In the other case, we have a trip that ends in San Antonio, Texas, but the next trip starts in Brookhaven, Mississippi. While extremely uncommon for automation clients, a fault in the GPS hardware may have occurred, causing a gap in the data. Anytime you have questions on these situations, you are welcome to contact ProMiles for more information. When viewing trip details, you will note that some fields are not automatically populated due to the automated nature of the processing. These fields can be edited if desired, but are not necessary for fuel tax filing purposes. The State Mileage tab shows a breakdown by state of miles and routes traveled. While available as appropriate, the fields for weight, temporary permits, or empty selection are not used by most of our automation clients. For more information on any of these, please contact a ProMiles customer service representative. The Fuel Purchases tab shows the details for any fuel purchase that has been matched to this trip. In most cases, the process of matching fuel to a trip is automated but in cases where a purchase was imported to a unit but not matched to a trip, they will be listed below. There are a few reasons why a purchase may not match a trip. More information on automatically or manually matching fuel to trips will be covered in a separate video. The GPS map tab shows an overview of the route taken as well as the location of the points used in routing the trip. The points are numbered in order of travel and you can zoom in or out on the map to select the level of detail. 
The Audit Trail tab shows a record of any modifications made to the trip, who made the modification, the date and time. Now let's jump to the report section for a specific unit. Note that we are currently viewing information specific to a certain truck. To run reports for a group or all trucks in the fleet, you will use the Run Reports section which will be covered in another video. But for this unit, you can see that three reports are available. A fuel and mile tax summary, an IFTA only summary, and an IRP report. Click on any of these to view the report. This concludes our overview of the Automated Trips section. Please remember that other videos are available discussing fuel purchases and running reports. Thanks for watching.